press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello students, uh, we are back with social science again and the first lesson in history, advent of Europeans to India. So far in the last class I had told you about the three Carnatic wars that resulted because of the fight between English and French. They wanted to have their power in India. They wanted to have authority and rule over India. Who are they? English and the French. These companies that had come, before them were the Dutch and the Portuguese. But the Dutch and the Portuguese didn't get a lot of profit and then the English and the French started fighting which resulted in three Carnatic Wars which I discussed in the last class. And what happened in these three Carnatic Wars? The English won over the French and the British rule started in India. I hope you remember these three Carnatic Wars and today we are going to study the British rule in India. How did British rule and they wanted to possess, see they tried to possess uh, the southern part, now they wanted to possess the northern part of India also and that is why as they were travelling they went to this place uh, and wanted to capture the Bengal province. They wanted to capture, as they wanted to capture the Bengal province, they uh, tried to make their kingdom very vast. They wanted to go and capture everything here and there and make everything under the British rule. What happened at this point of time? Again, there were two, again, another two battles, which among them, one we will be discussing in today's class and another battle, that is Battle of Baksa, we will discuss in the next class. Today, I would like uh, you to concentrate on how the British started its rule and what led to again two wars that is Battle of Classy in 1757 and Battle of Baksar in 1764. Now as I have written on the board, I am going uh, word by word, please follow and understand, don't mix it up again, uh, go along as I am going. What happened at that point of time was the British, I told you the British wanted to rule over India and they wanted to take the northern part of India. So they went to this Bengal province. What do I mean by province is the states that we call now. As Karnataka is a state, at that point of time a map was not that vast as it is now. The Indian map was not that vast but the Indian map was a slightly different from what we have today. That is what is province. When they wanted to, when did they want, they wanted to do this in the 18th century. At that point of time, the Nawabs were ruling Bengal. And what was Bengal famous for? Bengal was famous for three trade things, that's agriculture, commerce and industry. They were famous for this and they used to get a lot of profit through this, that is agriculture, commerce and industry. Now the English also started to make profit. They also wanted to make profit through this and they made profit because of one permission that they got. One permission that they got, they were known as the Dastaks. Dastaks is a license where you need not pay tax but you can import and export your goods. What are Dastaks? Dastaks is a license where you need not pay tax but you can import and export your goods. Now Dastak was a license given to the Britishers by the Mughal ruler at that point of time that is Farooq Siyar. Farooq Siyar gave the license that is called as Dastaks, you must remember this Dastak, to who? To the East India Company or the Britishers to make profits out of what? Out of agriculture, commerce and industry. Did you get this much? Did you understand this much? Okay. Now, what happened after uh, the Dastaks were given? What, the Dastaks, that's the license that was given to the East India Company. Some of the officials or some of the members of the East India Company started to misuse this license, started to misuse this Dastaks. And what resulted at that point of time was the Nawabs didn't like it. The Nawabs that time didn't like it and they incurred a huge loss out of all these profits that were making that they were making through agriculture commerce and industry they got a lot of loss at that point of time 
Now anybody does not like loss is not it, you will always like profit when you are making a huge profit and when you suddenly come down to a loss you would not like it. The same way Nawabs also did not like, the Mughal rulers also did not like it and they opposed this uh, East India company saying that uh, we have given you a wrong license and you cannot take it forward. And this resulted in the war between the Nawabs and the Britishers, there, that is the East India Company. It resulted in two prominent wars in the Indian history, that is Battle of Plassey 1757 and Battle of Baksar in 1764. Did you get the background of the British rule in India? Now this is very important for you to understand the two wars or two battles that I am going to talk next. I just brush it up again for you before uh, a quick revision before I go to Battle of Classy that was 1757. British wanted to expand its rule in India. They had done it in the southern part. Now they wanted to do it in the northern part and they went to the Bengal province in the 18th century. What was Bengal uh, famous for? Agriculture, commerce and industry. This East India company, they also wanted to do profit and they were issued a license. What, what kind of li license they were issued? That is called as the Dastaks. Who gave them the license? Farooq Siyar was a Mughal ruler at that point of time. But the officials of the East India Company misused the, what is that, Dastaks and it incurred a huge loss to the government. Huge loss. This is how you connect and read. Huge loss to the government. They did not like it. Who did not like it? The Nawabs or the Mughal rulers did not like it. The Nawabs of Bengal did not like it and this led to the war, two prominent wars between the Nawabs and the Britishers that is Battle of Plassey and Battle of Baksai. Did you understand this much? Okay. Now in this class today, we will uh, learn about Battle of Plassey only so that you do not, I do not want you to confuse between the two battles. One story and once and then other story another time. So only battle of classy today. Okay. If you are making notes students you could make uh, whatever I have written on the board that will be easy for you to understand. I also want you to read the textbook which is uh, which will you will find a lot of information and it will be easy for you to understand it again after you have heard the class it's easy for you to understand again and mark the important things that are there in the textbook that will help you uh, as you write your exams further. Let us go to Battle of Plassey, 1757. Now these two uh, battles are very, very important, so I want you to uh, give all your attention and listen. As I uh, tell you the battle of Plassey, understand the story and understand what are the outcomes and what are the reasons for it and what are the implications of the battle of Plassey. The ruler at that point of time in the beginning was Ali Wardi Khan. He was the Nawab of Bengal. We begin battle of Plassey with this person that is Ali Wardi Khan. He was the Nawab of Bengal. Now as he was the Nawab of Bengal, in 1756 he died. When did he die? In 1756 he died. As the Britishers were coming, as the prophets were going on, Wardi Khan, that is Ali Wardi Khan, he was the Nawab, 
but what happened in 1756 he died after he died his grandson took over the throne that is he was his, his grandson became the successor and this grandson's name is grandson okay grandson became the uh, ruler siraj uddawla who became the nawab of bengal at that point of time after wardi khan was his grandson siraj uddawla he became the successor or he went to the throne at this point of time when siraj uddawla was there this battle of plassey took place when did it take place during the time of siraj uddawla battle of plassey took place among uh, between whom between the nawab the young nawab of bengal and the britishers in 1757 did you get this much did you get the background of why did it how did it start now let us uh, learn some reasons as to why battle of plassey began reasons as to why battle of plassey began first reason is i told you there were dastaks given what are the dastaks that's the license now siraj uddawla didn't like the misuse of these dastaks you would also not like it i would also not like it isn't it that is how siraj uddawla also didn't like the misuse of that's the first reason misuse of dastaks who was misusing it the east india company or the britishers were misusing it and that is why this can can be considered as one of the major reasons because the officials uh, when that uh, siraj gave the license when siraj gave license to the east india company he gave it with some kind of trust that they would also make more profit but what happened and what resulted they incurred a loss a huge loss and this loss that they had to again make it up for was very very difficult isn't it if you have a, a shop or a business and if you have incurred loss of, by some floods or some natural disasters isn't it difficult to bring up or make it up through that same profit that you had earlier it is difficult isn't it that is why the nawab of bengal also found it very difficult to get par with the same profit that they had earlier this is the first reason that is a misuse of dastaks second uh, reason is mending of the fort without permission now if you go to the first or the second uh, first one and a half part of the my lesson i had told you about fort william fort william now what did they do uh, the britishers there was a fort in calcutta and they went and uh, built another fort beside that that was fort william and the nawab at that point of time didn't like it and he told them to remove all the laws or the canons out of that fort but the britishers disagreed to remove the laws against that fort and they said we will not remove the fort from here this angered siraj uddawla more and that is that is another reason for the battle of plassey the third reason is the black room tragedy now i told you there was this fort william siraj uddawla what he did was he went and conquered the fort william and what he did he imprisoned or he uh, gathered few englishmen there were 146 englishmen 146 englishmen and put them inside the room put them inside the room which is very very dark there were no windows in that room except for one door to get in and to get uh, get out 
there was only one door without windows in in that black room and what happened there as he had uh, put all these 146 english men 123 out of them died 123 out of them died and this angered whom the leader of the english that is robert clive as Sir robert clive was very angry with what the nawab of bengal had done he was also uh, ready for a fight with bengal actually bengal helped him helped them isn't it to uh, make some uh, place in their province but you see what has resulted in uh, what what it has resulted in so uh, robert clive came to bengal and there begins the battle of classy now did you get these three reasons misuse of the dastaks the fort william that was built beside the fort in calcutta and the black room tragedy black room tragedy is very important i told you robert clive came to india came to bengal and that point of time he made friendship with some local merchants there some local people there and three names are given in your textbook of the local friendships that he made there i'll just write it down for you let's uh, see here manik chand manik chand jagat seth and omi chand these are the friends robert clive made when he came to bengal did you get this manik manik chand jagat seth and omi chand he robert clive told told these uh, people that if you help me if you help me who if you help me defeat siraj ud daula that is the nawab of bengal i will do you lot of favors there was one more person uh, who robert clive made friendship with friendship with was the military person or the military head of siraj ud daula okay the military head of siraj ud daula Robert Clive was very clever you see he tried because of his uh, intelligence he tried to capture these people also and this uh, his name was Mir Jafar Mir Jafar who was the military head of uh, Siraj ud Daula was Mir Jafar Robert Clive went and told him who who Mir Jafar you help me defeat uh, Siraj ud Daula and i will make you the nawab of bengal what did he say to mir jafar i'll repeat it again he said robert clive said come and help me defeat siraj ud daula and i will make you who is i robert clive said i will make you the nawab of bengal mir jafar easily got fooled with the words of robert clive and in turn helped robert clive fight with siraj ud daula everything happened according to the plan of robert clive and there led this battle at this battle uh, robert clive knew siraj ud daula will uh, not defeat them siraj ud daula will run away or siraj ud daula will um, say it's over i don't want this battle something like that and he will go away from that battle robert clive was thinking before the battle and it happened exactly the same way siraj ud daula was defeated siraj ud daula was defeated in the battle field that is he ran away from the battle field which means you have lost the game it's similar like uh, i can remember when you play ludo do you play uh, have you played ludo and when you feel that you will not win you just toss the uh, board isn't it the same way same way siraj ud daula ran away from the battlefield in turn making the britishers win the battle of classy 
and Nawab of Bengal losing the battle of Plassey. After that, after they ran away, they tried to capture him and they killed him and then he died. Okay, after he ran away, they tried to capture him and they killed him. All this has happened, all this has happened. I will just brush it up again. I told you Robert Clive was very angry with what the Nawabs did and he came to India and made friendships with three people. These three people, Manik Chand, Jagat Seed and Omni Chand and he also made friendship with one more fellow that is the military head, Mir Jafar who was the military head of Siraj Daula and he said I will make you the Nawab of Bengal if you help me defeat Siraj Daula. Everything happened as planned. Siraj Daula uh, opposed and he ran away from the battlefield. They captured and killed him. This was the end of battle of Plassey, but there were some outcomes of the, this battle that was fought. Outcomes as in to say some, uh, some situations that occurred after the battle of Plassey, like results after the battle of Plassey. Now did you understand this much? What is the battle of Plassey? Very easy, isn't it? You just remember the story, you can uh, divide and write. But I want you to write the reasons first, then the battle of Plassey, a small uh, gist of the story you can write and then the outcomes. With that you can cover the whole answer of battle of Plassey. Now there should be some results of these fighting, isn't it? The English and the uh, Bengal people fighting, the Nawabs of Bengal, Bengal fighting, they, there should have been some reason or some situation which has occurred that was very good or bad at that point of time. The first outcome that came was there was lack of unity. Earlier how was Bengal in that province? Very uh, nice, people were doing lot of profit, everything was going according to their plan but now there was lack of unity because people did not know whom they should support properly, whether they should support the Bengal province or whether they should support the Britishers or whose rule they should follow. Britishers were very uh, acting very cruel at that point of time by imposing all their laws. People were confused and that resulted in lack of unity among themselves. It also uh, resulted in immor immor immorality. Like lack of values, people lack values at that point of time. Now they, the, another thing that they had was greed. What is greed? They had greed. Now everybody wanted to make profit, everybody wanted to establish themselves in this part and that is why greed began for many other sectors of trade. Let us go to the second one. Second outcome, as Robert Clive had promised Mir Jafar that he would make him the Nawab of Bengal, Mir Jafar becomes the uh, Nawab of Bengal. Mir Jafar is the Nawab of which province? Bengal. This is as promised, isn't it? Now Robert Clive is truthful, isn't it? Robert Clive was faithful in making Mir Jafar the Nawab of Bengal. You see later what he does to Mir Jafar, I will tell you. The third one was East India Company, East India Company got their rights got their rights to do trade in Bengal. Who got their rights to do, in, uh, do trade in Bengal? The East India Company got their rights to do their full trade. Earlier they had to uh, seek dustaks, but now there was no need to seek dustaks, but they easily had, could do their trade and easily had rights to do it. Let us see the fourth outcome. Fourth outcome was Mir Jafar. Mir Jafar had to pay a certain amount of money to the East India Company or the Britishers because uh, of the loss that they had incurred through the battle and that the fort that was being destroyed. Mir Jafar had to pay them 17 crores 
17 crores and 70 lakhs 17 crores and 17 lakhs because they had lot of um, the British has incurred lot of loss isn't at that point of time and as they had attacked the fort William as they as British had attacked the fort of William now why near Jafar at pay because he is the Nawab of Bengal see Rajadallah is already gone and he cannot uh, pay now he is dead so as Nawab of Bengal he had to pay 17 crores and 17 lakhs to the East India Company for the loss incurred in the battle of Plassey. After this what happened? This Mir Jafar was ruling Bengal. But what did the English people do? That is the British people do? They tried to prove, they tried to prove that Mir Jafar is ineffective that, or in his throne on his throne and he is not an able leader. He is not a uh, disciplined and a courageous leader and they wanted to remove Mir Jafar from the throne. They themselves made him the Nawab, isn't it? Why they made him the Nawab? Because of uh, their rights that they wanted in India. Now once they have made, they had all right to take him away also. They tried to prove that he is very ineffective, not a able leader who can rule the province. As they proved that Mir Jafar was an ineffective leader, they made, they made another uh, Nawab that is Mir Jafar's nephew, Mir Qasim, Mir Qasim as the Nawab of Bengal. Once they proved uh, Mir Jafar is ineffective, they made his nephew Mir Qasim as the Nawab of Bengal. These are the outcomes of the Battle of Plassey. Did you understand this much? The whole uh, history and the background, why it began, what are the reasons for the Battle of Plassey and what, uh, how did the Battle of Plassey happen and the outcomes of Battle of Plassey. Did you understand this much? If you didn't understand, you can rewind and see again. And today for this class, I will stop with the students. In the next class, I will deal with Battle of Baksa. That is the second battle that was fought again in India in 1764. Thank you students. I shall meet you in the next class.